Hey, Gateway Alliance Church. My name is Mitch. I am on the go, as you can see. Uh, but I did want to share with you my thoughts from last Sunday's sermon that Pastor Adam gave. If you haven't seen it already, please check it out on YouTube or Vimeo or Facebook. I prefer YouTube. I don't know what you guys prefer. Uh, but when you do watch it, you'll get, I'm going to give you a, a quick preview of what you missed or what you've already seen. Pastor Adam talked about one of the prophets in, in the Bible called Elijah. He challenged the prophets of Baal, 450 of them. There were a bunch of uh, religious dudes who like believed in this false god. And the challenge at the time was two sacrifices. One of them needed to be burned, right? One of them, they were, they were both, both sides were saying, we're just going to sacrifice these, um, I'm guessing calves or cows. And whichever one catches fire first, that proves whose god is real, whose god isn't. So for all morning, some of the afternoon, the prophets of Baal were like trying super hard. They were chanting and dancing and they were, they were praying to their, uh, false god. Hey, please catch this, uh, offering on fire. And Elijah teased them and he was just mean and I don't know, not maybe not mean, but he was just laughing the whole time and saying like, come on, where's your god? Is he deaf? Is he sleeping? What's going on? Finally, Elijah's like, yo, douse it with water. I want it to be indisputable that, uh, God has burned this thing. And then fire out of nowhere just flashed, burned the whole calf burn the whole sacrifice and it was like yo god is real and elijah's faith i'm sure was like soaring pastor adam made the point that he must have hit an all-time high but then the next day uh the evil queen jezebel was alerted to this information and she's like i'm gonna kill him i am gonna end his life so he ran um i never thought of it before until yesterday morning but like yeah how can you go from such a high with god so much faith in god and then all of a sudden so much fear for your life and I think it's easy for us in 2021, for me anyway, I'll be honest with you, uh, sometimes when I look at the news or, or when I see what's happening in the world of politics or, or globally what's going on, I'm like discouraged. I'm like fearful. No matter how much my highs with God happen, I'm like, yo, is it okay? Is the future for my children okay? Is the future for myself okay? Is there, should I be building homes and, and marrying off my children or, or having this life or should I be trying to be more, um, political and, and try and save myself? I think Elijah tried to save himself. He ran super hard. I forget the exact measurement um, that Pastor Adam talked about, but he ran for his life. And yeah, I've just been getting this overall sense from um, the sermon on Sunday and from my quiet times with God, the way he uses the prophets. He, he tells Jeremiah to prophesy, to tell the Israelites to go and build houses, to go and um, marry off his their kids, to go and live in the, the world live in the society or the government structure that God sent them to live in. Um, so yeah, that really stuck out that Elijah too, God told him to encourage him uh, that his presence never left. Uh, he told Elijah that his present, the presence of God never left. And it was such an optimistic point that Pastor Adam made uh, this Sunday, that no matter what our circumstances, no matter what our government structure looks like or how our society is turning, God's presence it's not like it left us. It, he's been with us the whole time. Even in some cases, he sends us there. Even in some cases, he allows uh, for these situations to turn out the way they are. But in, amidst the uh, negative circumstances, um, he's just very optimistic that he's there and that he's wanting us to continue to live our lives, ordaining the times and place that we are to live. So, yeah, just thought I'd share that with you. I hope it's as optimistic to you as it was to me. I hope that even when it's like uh, easy to be fearful of how our world is turning, that we don't forget God's presence is always with us. So thank you for your time, Gateway Alliance Church. Peace.